What is up, everybody? Hey, this is Bobby from PlayingWithPizza.com, and today we're making a chicken broccoli pizza. Don't ask me why. Well, you can. My mother-in-law, Dolores, wanted me to make the one, so I am. So I got my old pizza pan. I got this at a restaurant depot years ago. Not a restaurant depot. Check that. A restaurant supply store in Columbus. I forget the name of it. But anyway, this has been a sturdy pizza pan that I've had for 10, 15, no, probably close to 20 years or more. But anyway, I'm oiling it up and getting ready to put in uh, some dough. This is uh, my New York dough 2.0 that I made with bouncer flour. This is about a 48 hour cold fermentation. It probably rested on the counter for a couple hours and I portioned it out and it spent 48 hours in the fridge and then here I am trying to stretch it. It's got a li little bit of elastic -y. Is that a word? <laughs> it's got elastic like properties. How about that? Doing a little gravity stretching. I did a video the other day about hand stretching. I'm trying to get better. It's one of the areas where I need more improvement definitely and as you know on this channel we're just trying to help people make better pizza at home i'm not an expert i've just been eating and making pizza for most of my life so here i go i get it in here i'm just going to try to stretch it out and you see you know with the gluten it's going to pull back a little bit i had some alfredo sauce i bought this mix from gordon food service and it was very thick it's just you add boiling water uh, to the dry powder mix here i am adding a little ranch seasoning to it uh, i get uh, my ranch seasoning at uh, amish bulk food store east union bulk food store in wayne county ohio so i'm spreading that alfredo hey look this is what my mother-in-law wanted that's what she's going to get so i'm just going to hit it with that alfredo uh, rance mixture work it out to the edge as much as possible and i figured as you know this as the um, sauce warmed up in the oven and then we had the moisture coming off of the broccoli because this is going to be a chicken broccoli pizza i'm going to hit it with a little ham and parmesan as well but I figured, you know, the moisture coming from the ham and the broccoli will kind of loosen that Alfredo sauce up a little bit. The sauce was okay. I wouldn't get it again. You know, um, as you know, tr here I'm going to put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on it. But as you know, true Alfredo is just pasta water. Parmigiano Reggiano, as Vincenzo would say and butter that's it and with your noodles that's it so if you're going to use an alfredo sauce on a pizza it's not going to be true alfredo here we go finish up with the cheese bring on the broccoli and this is just frozen broccoli that uh, i had didn't eat it all from a dinner we had and so you know what it's going to go on this pizza so I'm spacing this out because I'm going to put chicken ham and then uh, Romano or yeah, grated cheese on it. And so this is just uh, chicken sauteed in garlic butter with uh, you know salt, pepper. Now I had some uh, off the bone ham that I had sliced real thin and I cut it up into kind of strips and I'm just throwing that on the pizza and this is what my mother-in-law wanted me just give me a traditional new york with cheese that's it for me and notice i didn't put any oregano on this now the grated cheese goes on it's going to go in an oven that's been preheated to 500 degrees i'm going to cook it for probably 9 to 12 minutes here we go Let's get it in and I use it. Oh, I put it on the uh, pizza stone on the bottom there. And there it is, about 12 minutes later. And my mother, I did not taste that. 
I cooked it for my mother-in-law Dolores. I said, that is yours. But it did it did look pretty good. It's just not my kind of pizza. And I wonder if my grandmother, Abundant Dola, would look at this and say, mind you, Bobby, mind you. Maybe she would, who knows. <laughs> 